content a little bit take it a little bit more from like informative like lecture type video to more so just you know me showing you how I'm staying in shape as a business owner uh, multiple business owners husband um, traveling at the same time things like that really just wanted to kind of instead of here's how you do it like here's how I'm doing it uh, and you know just be the example in terms of you know staying in shape being your best physical self uh, being a fit entrepreneur, which I feel like is extremely, extremely important. Uh, so today, uh, we're getting it kicked off with just, you know, walking you through an entire workday in Vegas. Uh, if you don't know, we started traveling about five, five months ago, something like that. Uh, Lisa was up in Birmingham and we're like, you know what? Um, we're not really finding anywhere that we just really want to go right now. Uh, so let's take this opportunity to travel around. Uh, we've been to Houston, Texas, stay for a month. Uh, Mexico stayed for a week, Tulum to be exact, uh, went to Las Vegas, and then we've been in Memphis here and there back and forth, and now we're in Las Vegas uh, for another 30 days. Uh, so just want to kind of show you guys, you know, first off, why we're doing this, uh, and then secondly, how we're, you know, making sure that we're being on top of our health and fitness, uh, on top of our business goals, uh, and things like that. So, Lego. <laughs> to really get done the hardest tasks, like the most mundane things, but at the same time, the things that, you know, grow either your business or your um, your client success. For me, obviously I'm a fitness coach. Uh, so uh, one, uh, one of the things I like to do every morning is check over our training compliance, uh, check over nutrition logs for my clients, making sure that they're eating the right thing, that they're logging their meals, making sure they're doing their workouts, understanding everything, really just checking in on my clients. Uh, I always like to start the day with that uh, because it is kind of like a mundane thing going from, you know, one to the other, like, you know, 40, 50 clients uh, every single morning uh, going through there and looking at them. But uh, to me, that's the thing that makes our program successful. That's what uh, gets people amazing results is the fact that we're not just giving them a workout and a meal plan and just, you know, best of luck get it done i uh, check on you every couple of weeks like no nah, it's like a, a everyday thing of anybody that's going to put in the work uh, so i always like to start off the day with that um just really you know serving the people that uh that took a chance on on me and, and my wife and our program uh, and just really serving them so i like to start the day with that uh, then also going over goals financials um going over uh, other business ventures, which um, that was also one big aspect of uh, having this whole, you know, traveling around type deal is really figuring out where we wanted to go from a, you know, financial perspective, where our, what our goals are, uh, what our business goals are. And I always said that I never wanted to run another business unless I was actually passionate about that, uh, you know, about that thing. Because I've tried to have jobs that Maybe I could have made decent money, but I just wasn't passionate about it, so I didn't do well. I've tried a couple of other business ventures that I wasn't passionate about, they didn't do well. Uh, so now I know that I have to truly have passion uh, towards something 
to make it work for me. Uh, so I actually got a couple of things in the works. I'm super excited to, you know, kind of announce that here on the page before the or channel before the new year hits. But yeah, that's what the morning typically consists of. Uh, and then after that, we get into content creation. We get into, uh, you know, like I said, communicating with clients, you know, posting content. Uh, and then just continuing up everything, building out training programs, building out a nutrition program, just making sure that my clients are taken care of, baby. That's the that's the number one thing every single day. <laughs> So it is now uh, 9.43 Pacific time. It's like 11.43. No, oh, 8.43? It's 8.43 Pacific time. Um, 10.43 Central time. My phone is still on Central time. I'm still living on Central time completely just because that's like we have our live streams, team meetings, all that stuff. But um, it's Thursday. So on Thursday, we get our cheat with some crumble cookie. Was glad that they had one here in Las Vegas. You probably can't see the side of it, but they had one here in Las Vegas. So we had to hit them up. Got the Uber. I was supposed to record getting in the Uber, driving here, all that stuff. But it's a different side of town that we've been on, and it's super quiet, like, you know, like desolate almost. But it's like there's stuff, I don't know if you can see. But there's stuff around, but at the same time, it's way quieter than the areas that we've been in. But I think that's just part of being in the desert or whatever. So. We're about to smash our cookies um, that we've worked hard on this week. I'm gonna work hard to get this week and finish up some work and we should be good to go for the day. All right, AT Ross. I'm gonna put his channel somewhere up over here, but my guy has been reviewing these crumble cookies and it's funny as hell. So y'all please go check him out for real. Uh, but I'm about to try this one live, just like my guy and let you know what I think. Pecan pie really cookies. Good. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Does it taste like an actual pecan pie? Like similar? Yeah. The inside, I like the pecan pie part. It tastes just like the pecan filling. pie. Mm -hmm. And then the outside tastes like the cookie. So it's a good mix. It's good. <laughs> Coffee shop uh, called Founders Coffee. That actually seems like a pretty good spot, huh? Yeah. yeah. We always. Yeah. We did have to run across the highway. Like it's like the big highway. Like like you're going into another city or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's always hard to find a good coffee spot where like the vibe is good to where like you feel like you can work there all day. Like it's not too cold. It's not too busy. It's got plug-ins. Like so. Um, about to grind out the rest of this work day right here. So they got this like little cozy couch section over here. I was like, you wanna go sit over here? She was like, no, we're gonna be asleep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be knocked out over there. So I think we're gonna stay at this little this little uncomfortable table and uh and smash some stuff out. a lot of days like monday is typically the busiest day so i'm gonna try to film uh mondays because mondays are crazy i feel like uh, uh i'm in a you know sky rise uh c-suite like running around doing a bunch of stuff just because my client stuff on monday meeting my team every monday uh coaches every monday like just really you know zoned in on everything and getting a weekly game plan out but by thursday pretty much everything's been executed 
uh, and it's really just kind of like planning for the next week. So um, it was just a little snippet, working, you know, for yourself, working uh, out of town, you know, in Vegas right now, um, coaching online. Uh, so just really wanted to show you that and just kind of give you some insight into what the days are like. Uh, we actually also didn't go to the gym today. So that's, I think that's what, the, that's the biggest thing. Why well, it was a little bit shorter than I was thinking it was gonna be. We didn't go to the gym today, but we will be hitting tomorrow. I'm gonna film that. It won't be like a work day vlog. It's more like a, you know, workout vlog, regular type, you know, Friday vlog. But I'll get that done and post that in the next couple of days. So make sure you turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss it. Uh, let me know if you like this style of video, if you got anything that you wanna see specifically. And I'll make sure to get that done. Peace.